Are you needing to send files to your students digitally, but you don't necessarily want to send all 150 pages? Hi, my name's Jennifer, and today on Simply Kinder, I'm going to show you how to use Google to extract some of the pages from any of your secured PDFs. Let's go ahead and get started. So files are secured just because of copyright. They need to be locked down so that the clip art and the fonts cannot be lifted and used in other ways. Unfortunately, when you secure a document, you also lose the ability um, in your normal program to um, delete pages. So we found some ways to get around that. This way uses Google. If this way doesn't work for you, follow the link and we have two other programs that you can do it in um, with full directions. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your file and you're going to want to upload it to Google. And so I've done that here. You're going to double click on the file and it's going to open in this little preview pane. So in this preview pane, you're not going to want to open with Google Docs or whatever, whatever this says, don't open it in that exact program. Leave it right here. You're going to hit print and that's going to just kind of prepare the document to be printed. You can see it's in a separate little document viewer and then you're going to hit print again. Now when you're in here, it's going to allow you to select the destination. So I've been playing with this and so mine is automatically set as save PDF. Yours will most likely be set at a printer. So you just select this and move it down to save as PDF. And then on all pages, you of course don't want all pages because that's the whole point of this video. You're going to come in here and you're going to type in the page numbers that you want. So I want page 7, page 126, and then I also want to include the very last page which is page 150 because that's our credit page and our copyright page that just kind of makes the document follow the guidelines. And so you can see on this particular day, I plan on teaching the letter D. I need just the letter D craft. I would like just the letter D craft sample and then that credits page in order to be compliant with copyright. What you do then is you can either click save or I always like to open and preview just because I feel like it gives me a little bit more control. So I open it in preview and I come over here and I see, yep, D, D, and then um, back here is the credits page. And so then I'm just going to go file, save, and I'm going to save it as letter D, letter D, maybe put the date, pick where I want to send it and save as PDF. And then when I close this document and this document, you will see that I have the letter D document right there. It's the same exact, everything is locked down so that it's following our copy, or it's compliant with copyright and yet it's only the three pages that I need to send to my students um, for them to work on. So that's how you do it using Google. If this way didn't work for you, um, I have two other methods to do it. So follow the link and let us know if you have any questions and stay well and have a great day everyone. Bye.